Hi, um, I'm Logan Cherry with WHHI TV, and today we have some great guests with us. We have um, Officer Hatchet from the Beaufort City uh, Police Department, and then we have Richard Hughes, Hughes from the Jasper County um, Fire Department, and he's going to be our public information officer for today as we talk about hurricane preparedness. Okay, Richard, uh, can you tell us a little bit about, uh, about evacuations? Uh, we know we're in the hurricane season right now. If you can tell us a little bit what people need to know in case of an evacuation. Okay. Uh, in regards to an evacuation, since we are in hurricane season, uh, if one is called, you need to have a plan. Uh, and if you feel that you need to evacuate in the event of an impending storm before an evacuation order is called, that is completely up to you. Uh, we highly encourage for you to make the best decisions for your family and for yourself so that you remain safe in the event of a, of a storm or a disaster. So what are some of the dangers posed to people during um, hurricanes and why, what should they look out for? Mm. So uh, follow what uh, the expert advice from your emergency services, from your local emergency services and state level emergency services. Uh, hurricanes can produce dangerous winds, storm surge, flooding, uh, the damage can result in major power outages, c which can drastically affect, for, affect you. If you remain in your homes, you will not have the ability to, uh, the uh, potential access to basic utilities such as power, water, sewer, uh, your own uh, sources of food. Uh, in the event of severe um, storm conditions, fire and emergency services may not be available to you during, during an actual storm as it is a hitting our coastline. Okay, we know the, the different stage during the hurricane, which is preparation before the hurricane. During the hurricane, what you should do in avoid danger. Also, Richard's gonna tell us about what you should do after the hurricane. Mm. Uh, so after the hurricane, again, we really, we, need, we encourage, we encourage you to follow the advice and the information from your local and state emergency services. Uh, if you evacuate, there will be a period of time to where you will not be allowed back into the area until the immediate damage has been resolved so that it is safe for you to return. When you return to your homes, when you're actually able to return to your homes, be mindful, be cautious of turning on your power, turning back on your gas, the potential for leaks, the potential for structural damage and uh, be mindful that uh, not all services will be immediate, uh, immediately available, public services. And there's so much great information out there and you have provided us with two fantastic guides. Can you tell us a little more about them? Mm -hmm. Yes, so we um, have several, um, your local emergency services may have uh, multitudes of information regarding uh, different disasters such as tropical cyclones and hurricanes and uh, your local and state emergency services produces the hurricane guide is produced once a year. This guide has a multitude of information regarding the dangers that can be presented during hurricanes at different levels of those storms from category one to category five. It can tell you how to make a plan, what are some key points of that plan, things to consider with evacuations, when to evacuate, if you are unable to evacuate and you must shelter in place or if you must shelter at a emergency shelter that's put up by your local uh, services, what you need to bring to those shelters, how to plan for pets, and uh, what are things to have with you for your basic needs such as water and food, medications. Uh, I, I know, Richard, there's a lot of misinformation after the hurricane. And a lot of people get confused. There's a lot of people angry. There's a lot of people who don't know what to do. What can you tell us about where people should get information and, and where to get the right information after the hurricane is over? Yes, sir. Well, uh, in regards to social media, because a lot of us get our information from social media these days, and we do highly encourage that you follow your local and state emergency services social media pages. Uh, whether it be the South Carolina State Emergency Management Division, Jasper County Emergency Services, we have multitude of social media on cr across different platforms. 
There's also an application available to your mobile devices called the South Carolina Emergency Managers app, which can give you a lot of the information. It can give you all the information available in the hurricane guides, and it can give you up-to-date information in regards to local services and power outages. Uh, the information that you need to follow can, that, that is most accurate is going to come from those avenues. Uh, yes, we have our local friends and family that we follow that may have some information, but because of the way and because of the fluidity of the information that's being put out during and after a, an event, the best information is to follow is from the local official sources. And those official sources could be like a different county, they have their own county emergency service? Yes, it could be. Uh, again, Jasper County Fire Rescue uh, and Jasper County Emergency Management. We have a social media fault. We have social media on Facebook and Twitter. We also have our Nixle, and I believe uh, Beaufort County, as well as various other counties, carry uh, similar social media platforms and information distribution systems such as Nixle. And the state also has the Emergency Managers app as well as their own forms of social media. Awesome. Well, thank you both for joining us. You obviously have a lot of knowledge about the topic and have some great resources. So um, we just want to say thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Logan. Well, thank, thank you, you very much.